Hello everybody. So today I want to show you how to answer this one that is about partial fractions. So in this case, I will put 8 over s, b over s minus 1, and c over s plus 1. Because we have three fractions, that's why we need to put 3 in here. The next one, we need to do common denominator. So, for this one, it is missing about s minus 1 and s plus 1 in here. So, capital 8 multiplied by s minus 1, s plus 1. About this one, it is missing about s and s plus 1. So, capital B multiplied by s and s plus 1. And the last one, that is about s and s minus 1. So, this one, that is about s squared minus 1. This one, that is about s squared plus s. This one, that is about s squared minus s. So, we need to arrange based on the terms of s. About s squared, we have b and c. About s, uh, we have a, b, c. About s, we have b multiplied by s. C multiplied by negative S, so we have B minus C. About the numbers, we have A minus 1, we have negative A. Now, we need to arrange based on the terms of coefficients in here. We have number 1, that means A plus B plus C equals to number 1. We have B minus C, and this one we have number 1. So B minus C equals to number 1, and negative 8 equals to negative number 8. So we create the system of equations. So this one we have. 8 equals to number 8. So we put number 8 go in here to find the value of B and C. So we put number 8 go to the right. So we have negative number 8. So this one we have negative number 7. Now we sum two equations. So B plus B, we have 2B. C minus C, you got number 0. Negative number 7 plus 1, we have negative number 6. So we divide both sides by number 2. So we have negative number 3. After you got this one, we put negative number 3 go in here to find the value of C. So, we put negative number 3 in here. And number 1, I will put on the left, negative C, go to the right. So, after you got B, C, and 8, we put this one, go in here. So 8, that is about number 8. B, that is about negative number 3. And C, that is about negative number 4. And now we have the final answer in here. Because we have the formula.
this is the end. Thank you for watching.